Hey guys, welcome to another SaaS landing page teardown. Today we have uh, Viva.io um, and they do have like a very visual page. Uh, they essentially have a, a product that competes with Bloom, but it has like a better uh, video editor and so on and so forth. Uh, so it does look like an amazing tool is just the page could be, could be a little bit better, right? So the irony of this is that they have a video tool um, and video is like always the best way to explain things, but they don't have any videos on their homepage, right? So. Uh, as, as I'm going through the page, they don't really have uh, any videos. They do have pretty good visuals, but they don't have uh, any videos, right? So the first thing that, that comes up is instead of saying anyone can make a great video, that means you as well, I'd actually show what, what are all the things that video uh, vid.io can do. Uh, so people look at this and say, hey, this will completely replace all these different tools that I'm using and duct taping together, right? Because at the end of the day, that's the actual problem. So with vid.io, you get a lot of value. So you, you're able to record a video, you're able to fully edit it with a proper ed editor, right? So you can add things, you can uh, add like a probably background music and do a bunch of different cuts and add st uh, stock pictures, which is included within their pricing because I checked their pricing. And none of this is actually addressed here, but it is actually in um, included in the, in the products. And all of this could have been shown in the hero. So with that, with that could, they could have a headline al along the lines of uh, being able to record, edit, and um, export the video or share it like all within one tool. Then you would show that in, in a little video that loops, right? So someone recording the video, then uh, being able to edit it, it out in, in a really simple uh, editor, then adding stock pictures, then sharing it online, then uh, maybe turning it into a TikTok video because it changes the aspect ratio or something and automatically exports it, or even adding captions. So these are all things that they can do that they could have shown even just in the hero, and they don't show it throughout the entire page. They're just missing out on a lot of these things, right? So people would clearly say, hey, this is the only tool I'll ever need, and I'll just use vid.io because they have a lot of competitors here, right? So they say that it's fully featured and it's not complicated, but then as I scroll through this, I don't really see anyone editing. So I can see that I can change the, remove the background. I can see that I can change the aspect ratios. But if I saw how fast I could do this, then I would actually see how uh, easy it is, right? Because uh, like I'm not seeing anyone adding stickers or annotations or resizing or, or everything. It would be way easier uh, or way better if someone would show uh, like a live version of this where like someone was actually changing it on the spots and then people would see how easy it is because it only takes one click. Uh, and then they kind of missed out on that idea because uh, they, they just use screenshots, right? They also missed out on the collaboration side, right? So with Canva, right from the top, they show that you can easily collaborate with different people as you're going through the project. And collaboration, is it's key if they want to attract bigger and bigger big businesses. They have lots of users and they want to have lots of uh, people using it, like entire marketing departments use it um, or, or whoever else, because if they feel like they can create their own videos, then an entire team of marketers could use it without relying on an, on, on an, on an editor, and that means they, they make way more money uh, per account because they have way more people using it, right? Then they, have, they take a lot of space to go over this, and then they don't really show how easily you can add translations and, and the subtitles and all these things, where this could have been shown like right from the hero. Um, and then they have all these templates, which are good, but because they don't show it's a video, I'm not seeing how this will... Um, how this will look because this looks like a, a PowerPoint presentation rather than a template for a video because I'm not seeing how I can turn my video that I'm recording now into something like this, right? So that's a bit of a problem. Uh, then uh, as you can see, it takes so much time in order to show them that I can actually also record this like, uh, like I'm doing now with Loom, right? Uh, another thing that they're not doing is why not just show a video of someone recording, uh, recording maybe sharing the screen, uh, uh, showing a few slides, adding a few themes to it, uh, adding some post-it notes, all these little things, uh, adding some annotations. They could have shown this with a 10 second GIF and they're not really showing this uh, uh, at all, right? So uh, overall, like visually, it's a very good page, like in terms of the visuals, but they, they could have used video, they could have been way clearer. And I think if they're putting themselves in this position of a very competitive market where they're competing with Loom, they're competing with Loom uh, video editors, they're competing with caption uh, uh, type softwares, all these little things, um, they could have completely killed it uh, with their positioning by showing they have everything in one tool and it's easy to use. 
but they kind of missed out on, on, on that angle, right? So let me know what you think about this page. And uh, if you ever tried uh, Viva.io, because I'll be curious to, to try it for myself. Cheers.